Hello St Peter's. This week's Scratch project is going to appeal to you like me who like arty kind of projects. We're going to make a drawing program that will allow you to draw in a symmetrical way. Let me show you what I mean. Here's one I've already made. So if I go to the big screen and if I start clear screen, here's my pencil. And it would allow me to draw anything I like. As you can see, as I draw on one side, it will draw on the other side. Not sure what I have drawn, but anyway, you get the idea. It looks like a face. <laughs> okay, let's see how we make it. So, um, let's see if I can create a new project. I want new. Okay, so first of all, we're going to need a pencil sprite. So we're going to say goodbye to our cat, off we go. And we're going to go and load up a new sprite. Um, I might just cheat and let's put pencil in there, see if it comes up. There it is. Click on the pencil. Now I'm going to go into the costumes for the pencil. And I'll show you why in a minute. So we're in, this is our pencil. Now I, I would like to make the, the middle of the sprite is actually going to be the tip of the pencil. The reason for that is means that when we draw, it will look like he's drawing from the actual nib of the pencil, which will make more sense. So we need to, I think I need to select the whole of the pencil. So what I've done, I've dragged my mouse over the whole of the pencil. Now, if I go to the edge, no, I don't know what, I'm try that again. I should be able to move him. Now, can you see, if you look really close, there is a little grey cross there. And I, so I'm adjusting my pencil. This will become clear. That means that there, where my mouse is, is now the middle of that sprite. I will probably going to reduce my pencil down. He's... Mm, 40, let's see what 40 looks like. Okay, that will do for my pencil. Right, let's see what we're going to get our pencil to do. So the first thing we need to do is, when I move my mouse, I want my pencil to stay with my mouse. So, we are going to say... When the green flag is clicked, now I'm going to make this nice and big so you can see what we're doing. When the green flag is clicked, forever, I want my pencil to be in exactly, the, is going to go exactly where the mouse pointer goes. So I think that's a motion. We're going to go to, now I'm, not, I'm going to use this go to, and I'm hoping when I press here, I can say mouse pointer. All right. So forever go where the mouse pointer is, let's press C. Let's just see if that works. There we go. As I move my mouse, look, my pencil goes with it. It's fine. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay, now we're going to get our pencil to draw. To draw, we need a set of pencil tools. Now I've already got mine here, but you will need to press on this blue button here. And then you need to press here, which is um draw with your sprite okay back so i and then when you've done that you will get look all of these pencil tools that we are going to need today what we're going to do we are going to say that when we draw is when we press down on our mouse so we're going to use this if else block if like that here and it's going to be forever all the way through the program. So I'm going to pop it under there. We are going to say that we want to draw when we press our mouse down. So we need to put something in this shape. And that is the sensing. We can sense, the computer can sense, have we pressed the mouse? So we take this one here. No. Do we want that one? No, we don't. Ignore me. Ignore me. We want that one. Mouse down. OK, so this says if the mouse is down, so that the user is holding it down, we want to put our pen down. The pen there means our pencil sprite will draw. 
if we do not else that means if we don't have the mouse down we will have our pen up now before i do all this before i test it i'm just going to choose a color for my pen so i'm going to say oh i don't want that green i want to choose a color now i am going to always go let's go, let's go for that color nice and bright and pink and I need to choose how fat. Now make sure you go to this bottom one, which is set pen size. There's a one here that says change pen size. That means your pen will get thicker and thicker and thicker. We want this one here that says set, 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 set. And um, um let's see, maybe I'll, I'll see what how fat two is. That's how wide the pen will be. Right. Let's see now. There we go, look, as I draw. Now, can you see how it suddenly goes a bit weird? Look, it draws sometimes, it can be a bit glitchy. If it, yours is getting glitchy, do it, go onto your big screen, click here. Oh, and now it should work. Sometimes it works a lot better in big screen mode. So now I can draw whenever I like. Um, anybody in year five or year six will hopefully remember because we have made a program a bit like this before. Right, now what we need to do definitely look, can you see, if I want to draw a new thing, it's all a mess and I need to be able to clear the screen. So let's put that in. Um, I'm going to go make that smaller. So one of the things I do need under here, let's press stop, it's not better. Before we do anything, every time we start the program again, I'm going to say erase all. So this means every time we click the green flag, whatever we drew before goes away. There we are. Stop, green flag, that closes the screen every single time. Okay, easy, peasy, that's the first thing. That's all very well, that's a simple drawing tool. But what we want to do is to be able to draw on the other side. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna move, let's press stop. I'm gonna move you over here a minute and down there. I want some building space here. We are going to make a pencil that acts almost the same. So we're going to make a clone of that pencil. So we are going to say, when the green flag is clicked, we're going to say, create a clone. Where's the clone? There we are. So this is the darker yellow. No, we want that one. Create a clone of myself. All right, so we're saying make another pencil which is a clone of this pencil. Now that clone, if I do that, see, so could I've got I've got that pencil and then I've got my cloney pencil, but we haven't told the cloney pencil what to do. We haven't given him any any instructions, so he's not doing anything. But at least we've got a clone. So we now need to say, to make the clone do something, he needs one of these. He needs when I start as a clone. Right. So we've got when I, now I'm going to go smaller so that we've got a bit of space. Right. Now, we want the clone to do very nearly exactly the same as all this. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate all this. I'm just going to take away that a minute, unstick it for a minute so that I can duplicate it. So I am now right clicking and I get this menu. I can now press duplicate and I get exactly the same that I can put here. So now I can say, put that back, attach to that. So now I can say, when I start as a clone, do all of that which is fine, which means the clone will do exactly the same, but you won't be able to see it because they'll be on top of each other. Now for the tricky bit. To explain this, I'm going to change the background, but you don't need to. I'm just doing it to help you try and understand what I'm going to do next. But I'm just going to go to show you the coordinate background. This, let's go back to my pencil. This is what is at the background of all scratch projects. It's based on coordinates now if you're younger than year six you might not have done coordinates where they go into negative numbers but don't worry just follow what i do the middle of our scratch screen 
is zero, zero. If we draw on this side, we want it to appear on that side. So we have to, what we do not want, um, our, mouse, our cloned pencil, we don't want him to go to the mouse pointer because otherwise the cloned pencil and the real pencil will be on top of each other and we won't be able to see. I'm just going to take this out. I'm going to take this go to and I want to change it. So that's going in the bin. I'm going back to the blue ones and I want a different go to. I want this one here, go to X and Y. Because what I'm going to say is, um, the Y number will be the same as the mouse's Y number, but I want to make the X coordinate, if this is a positive X coordinate, then I want to make it exactly the same, but a negative X coordinate. Again, do not worry if you don't really know what I'm talking about. It'll kind of become clear when you get to secondary school. Just follow what I do, it'll work. Now, that's an, we're in here, the green, we need one of these, which is a green operator. Top one is add, take away, this one's divide, and this special star one is times. They have to have the asterisk for times, because if they had an X, they would think it was the letter X. So we are gonna say, now we have to go to sensing here, and you've got to find this little circle that says mouse X. So we're saying, oops, that's that's got to go in the hole with the green, then the green's got to go there. So I'm going to move that out of the way. So we're saying when you start as a clone, whatever the position the, of the mouse coordinate of that pencil, times it by minus one. Now that will make it flip over onto the other side. And for the Y coordinate, just don't alter the Y coordinate, keep that the same as the mouse coordinate. So just look at mine and try and make yours the same. Don't worry about whether you kind of really get why. It needs to be under here forever. Now we, we took this away, this if, and we're gonna pop that back in. So let's see what you should have. Let's make it smaller. So your clone is gonna forever, hopefully go to the opposite side of the screen to the mouse. If the mouse is down, it's going to draw if the mouse is up. It's not going to draw. If I take it back to the original, the original pencil, this is our original pencil, oops, study. That's going to the mouse pointer. Your clone pencil is going to the mouse pointer times minus one. Flip it over the other side. Let me go. So if I press big screen, let's hope this works. So look, there we have our two pencils. And they're doing, one of them is doing the exact opposite of the other one. Goodness knows what I am drawing. We do a little person. Okay, here's going to be ears. There we are. Uh, yes. Luckily that my computing is better than my drawing, isn't it? He's wearing clogs, I think. Maybe people that, if you do draw anything nice and symmetrical, you could show me what you're drawing. Oh, he's going to be a four-fingered person. Because he needs some eyes, doesn't he? And better do him a nose. How fun is that? Right, let's just... Now, can you see... Uh, boom, 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 boom. Well, I've got one is my real pencil, this side, and one is the cloned pencil. There's all sorts of... What you could do, if you don't want to see the cloned pencil, but it will still draw, you could go to looks and you could go and press hide. If I put that under here, so when he starts as a clone, he's going to hide. Let me stop and change that. Start again. So now, okay. oh, why are you only doing that? I didn't do that before. Let me just try it on big screen. Oh, when I practice this. Ah, that's better. Right, so can you see, that's my real pencil. My clone, has he's hidden, but he is still drawing. And it just means it's somehow easier to do. 
as you can see, Mrs. Board could play with this all day. Um, another thing, just to prove if we change this color, uh, we could have, and then you'll definitely see which is which. So my real pencil is still drawing in pink. Let me go over there. And my clone pencil is drawing in blue. It looks like a monkey's face. And to make it slightly nicer, I'm going to go back to my plain screen. Um, no, 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 no. I think Press page. Let's go back to the plain one. There we go. Now I kind of like the difference. You so um, play screen play. Okay, I might go back to both sides being pink. Go back to my code. That needs to be on my pencil. And instead of blue, I might have to make sure I've got exact same color. There we are. Stop, stop, clear the screen. Let's see if I can make a butterfly. There we go, there's Mrs. Board's butterfly. This matter. So, hope you have had, hope you enjoy making a symmetrical scratch project.